All right, so I have no idea what actually happened to Homegirl. Hopefully, she actually, like, makes it home. It's kind of stupid, man. These glitches... Maybe my luck is about to turn right back around. Can I, like, switch to her or something? Or is she, like, just gone? Christy, you. Please start you off in the home base and not outside. Okay, good. That's better. Okay, switch back to what's her name now? Dickinson. Okay, let's try this again. Except this time without... The glitches. Can I talk to you at least? On your mind? Yes, I can. I can talk to you. You don't have a ranged weapon. That's not good. You know what? Maybe there's a good reason that it actually glitched. Because I could have just gotten her killed right there. She wasn't even capable of shooting. Uh, you can take... Yeah, take the, the heavy sniper, actually. I gotta drop this off soon. There you go. Now let's uh, let's please try this again. And in fact, you know what? We'll take some bloater gas too, just to be safe. So that way I can get these guys off of my map, and we can continue on with our lives. You know what? Let's take the megalodon for a spin. How long has that been sitting there? And flashbangs. What is your specialization? Yep, prowess it is. Alright, take two. Hopefully without the glitches and this stupid group of zeds that just want to leave, you know, the humans alone. That would be a change I would not mind if, like, you know... Other survivors had serious consequences, like shooting. But then I know that might actually end up making the game just too easy. <gasps> Their door's open. That means I can get their attention now. And there's one right there. Still shooting at me, eh? Alright, Tex, let's do this. Got the long-range weapon. Get over here. Oh my gosh, of course you just have to scream. Never fails. Sweetheart, come on. Now you shoot. Man, y'all can be hella annoying. I can't see your head, buddy. Yeah, that's right. Better back away to home. Got you. A third person would be ideal with this kind of an operation. As you guys have seen in the past. Shot, hun. Very well done. Alright, we only got two more of these noobs. Let's see what we can do with them. I otherwise don't see them. They might be at the front of the house now. Look at that. Day 15. Looks like they decided to go into hiding. Yeah, maybe. Ooh. With a better vehicle this time. Let's 
just wave him over. Let the Zeds have their fun. There we go. Oh, and there's this chick. Okay, we can probably take care of her. Yep, looks like she's already having a hard time. Well, I think that bloater literally just spawned from the screamer. Man, you really have to come and ruin the show? Aw, oh, thank you, sweetheart. Take care of that. Yes, whenever you guys can, if you're taking on hostile humans, maintain as much distance as possible. Um, especially with um, my composition of survivors, I only have six. Oh, what was that? Okay. Yeah, I only have six people, and they're all, like, I would say crucial um, to our sustainability. Our least valuable person is probably... Oh, snap, she's coming in for the kill. Let's go, hon. Nope, don't even think about it. Come on, guys. Take her out already. Yeah, they always rush in desperation. That's just one of their patterns, I find. But anyways, yeah, as I was saying, just try to maintain distance as much as possible. They will outgun you, and especially with my, um, with my survivors, there is simply... I'm, I'm not taking, like, any major risks. Okay, great. They're all gone. Perfect. Now we don't have to worry about those guys anymore. Let's go and take care of those brew people whatever they are, and we will be on our way. Feral? Yeah, no, not right now. You haven't forgotten what we talked about, right? Wait, Heartbreakers? Oh, did I forget about you guys too? Plague zombie. Oh, giving them some medicine. Snap. Uh, no, sweetheart, we haven't forgotten about you. You're not dying, hun. I'll get you out of there. Okay. All right, let's go. go we have a two-seater, though. So we're going to dismiss... What's her name? Alright, sweetheart, you were dismissed. Thank you for all the help. I don't know if we have time. Depending on where it is. We're low on supplies. Someone should get on the horn and scare up some leads. Network here. I'll get someone on that. No problem. Okay, uh, it's close by to them. Perfect. Alright, hopefully we can befriend these guys. Come on, hurry up and stop talking so I can, you know, get on the move on. And you guys just don't quit. Die, please. That's great. I don't suppose you guys have meds on you, do you? No way, if anything, they just have Molotovs. Come on, get out of the way, bounty thing. Okay, no, no meds. I'll still take the mollies. 
All right, we're gonna head down. Let's go talk to them. Maybe that'll extend our time. I'm not sure if that works, but um, better safe than sorry, right? Hope Christy's all right. You know, didn't run into like a few thousand bloaters or something. I always feel rather uneasy about dismissing my survivors out in the open. Hello. Hey, sweetheart. I'm glad to hear it. Let's see. Uh, let's just yeah. Whatever. All right, it is nighttime. Luckily, this character, well, I forgot her name. Dickinson or something like that. <laughs> uh, luckily, she's a hybrid, so I can, you know, keep her out at night or day. I almost feel like I'm underwater. Okay, I'm willing to bet it's not in this shed, but we'll see. Ooh, wait, there's that tall container. Is that it? We're zombie free for now. Okay. Thank you. Never mind. This is not it. Yeah, you can always tell based on what they say. At least, so far, that's been working for me. If the place seems empty, or like they should just move on, then chances are the meds you're looking for are not there. Oh wait, this place would make sense. Look at that, is this the container? Must be. Nice. All right, you assholes, here I come. We just need to kill one more play card with an explosive, and we still need to drive 110 kilometers. Probably scraps of circuitry in that box. Alright guys, there you go. Okay. Have a good day then. What do you guys have to trade? Who are you? Heartbreakers? More Molotovs, yeah. that's beautiful. I will take that actually, yes. I'll also take that. Hey there. Come on in and stay safe. Man, we're really in no position for a wandering trader. Barely in the position for a network trader. If they come with a signal booster, I think it costs five hundred, I could be wrong. this girl standings at not good you know what wait wait wait. fighting let's specialize that now because i think i just heard a feral no i didn't yes i did oh i'm not sure which one i should pick heroism or close combat i need a spot to like chill out and look at this i'm actually not sure which skill to pick i love close combat but i mean snap you know if heroism is much better i'll take it yeah there's our boy I think this is a good spot. Okay, I thought he was still alive. Alright, what do we got? What is this now? Alright, uh, okay. Close combat. Advanced fighting skills acquired on the front. What? Okay, as much as I love close combat, I think prowess can... Isn't that pretty much... You know, that's flying strike. Throw zombies harder. I swear that also has kind of powerhouse mixed into it. As long as I'm able to execute Zeds while standing, that's all I'm looking for. I hope heroism does that, because I know for a fact close combat does. 
Yes, shove attack unlocked. I like that too. Um, yeah, what the hell? I mean, you know, how bad could it be? Wait, what did it just show there? What was that? All right, leg sweep with blades. Ooh, grand slam with blunt weapons. Look at that. It's got everything in one. There we go. Heroism it is. Survivor in need? Who was that? Oh, why do you guys have to be so far? Whatever. Whatever builds up this woman's standings. Good lord, that is a crowd I don't think I'd want to mess with. Not even as Sebastian. Although, I think it's possible that I could. You know, give me like, maybe one Molotov and I can take care of the rest. But with this girl, she's too fresh. Too fresh. Sebastian is a veteran. Quite the survivor, I must say. We don't have a threat at home, do we? That was just... Yeah, we don't. We need to switch leaders, actually. We're going to switch to a builder. Not that I really use boons, but if I am going to get a boon, it will be the builder boon first. Uh, for those who have been present for my other um, base guides and leader bonuses... Not leader bonuses, sorry. Um, leader boons. Like, I have a couple of guides on those ones. I always would recommend to start with the trader first, switch to your builder, and then you... I mean, if you run with boons, everything else is much easier for any other playthrough afterwards. Are they... they're dead. Okay, well, thanks for the standing, I guess. Maybe it's one of those uh, ones with the people with the crossbow. No, can't do it yet. Wait, or... Oh, infestation. Okay, good. More opportunities. We really let them down. <laughs> no, we didn't. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're pretty full. They don't have a crossbow in them. I guess it doesn't really matter. They, they just... Put them there for whatever reason. Gas. I will take that. That's an interesting revolver. Look at that. Okay. Is that the only... No, these guys died side by side. Okay. Damage day. Okay. Blunt. Okay. We have very limited space. Only I mean, just take the stuff that matters. Uh, we don't need that right now, and we don't need those right now. Alright, what are the most important items? Heavy weapons, I'm not too worried about. I think we have a fair amount of those. I like the combat knife, but that's not exactly the most important. I could, uh, I could take the ammo out of this. Take the ammo out of that. Eh, I don't really care for that weapon either. I, don't, I probably won't end up using it. Gas is a must. We will take that. If you want to survive, your community needs a good scout. Knowing your surroundings is just as important as knowing your enemy. And they carry the same ammo, so we'll take that as well. Great. That's all I really care about from these guys. Um, yeah. Oh, no, I don't really care about the rest of those items. If I had more, like, trunk space, then yeah, sure, you know, I'd take them all on, but... I don't know. They all seem kind of inconsequential. Infestation. Yes. Whatever builds this woman standing up. How is our morale? It's okay. When we switch leaders, I think our morale is going to take a serious hit, so we're going to have to time it really well with this stuff. Three minutes? I think we can do that. Listen, Paul, you're not a bad leader, all right? You're great. You were, you were good. But we're going to be switching probably to Sebastian to be our leader because he's got the builder leadership. Look at that. Okay. Wait, did I hit the right option? Oh, okay, good. He's just marked now. All right. Uh, 
that's her infestation. Okay, good. This should probably be solvable with one throw. Maybe. Never mind, the Zeds are walking away. And he is kind of slow. And I did not bring a crossbow. Ah, it's kind of risky. It's kind of risky. Screw it. Just set him on fire. Don't really care about the rest much. Ooh, wait. I think that worked out. Oh, perfect. Nice. Alright, let's go and have a chat with our leader. Because it's going to cause some problems. There's the feast. We should probably get that slow cooker started. I hate when that happens. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay. Okay. Good thing I was not breaking the speed limit this time. I think this is the Megalodon's, like, what, first day out? Maybe second day out? I'm not sure. But, you know, at least it's not smoking yet. That's good. He'll drop to citizen. What is her, uh, what are his effects again? I think it uh, it's for morale, correct? Yeah, plus three. We can we, we can deal with that. It's okay. All right, Paul. Would you be willing to let someone else carry the burden of leadership for a while? All right, Paul. No worries, buddy. No hard feelings at all, dude. We will be fine, guys. Jeez. Alright, Sebastian. Freaking badass of the crew. You are our builder, after all. Look at that. Oh, wait, never mind. That's a large facility effects. Sniper tower for free sniper cover. That could actually get us out of a few jams with ferals, I think, but, I mean, won't be necessary. Let me just see what the other people are. Wait. Jules is also a builder. Hmm. She looks like a nice badass, too. Jeez. Christy. She is... Sheriff? No, we're not going to be needing a sheriff. Sheriff is really good, though, for, um... What do you call it? For the lounge. Because it boosts everything. It's beautiful. Key. You are a traitor. We already had a traitor, so no, we don't need you. Huh. Jules or Sebastian? If you ask me, Sebastian was definitely the bigger badass. Especially in the beginning. He has proven himself, like, time and time again. Plus, he's a bit of a hybrid, so I think it would make sense that he is the leader now. Yes. As far as my personality goes, I think if I were to assign a leader type to myself, I think I'd be between the Builder and the Warlord. Just based on, like, my character. The Builder, because... Ooh, wait, food stockpile, what's going on? Oh, never mind. Okay, good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, plus eight, perfect. Yeah, the builder, because um, nothing beats uh, insurmountable defenses, but at the same time, warlord, because, I mean, hey, at the end of the day, better other people die than me. Maybe, maybe he can deal with, oh wait, never mind. Yeah, our morale took a serious hit, I think. Let's see. Alright, lethal difficulty. Recently demoted. Yeah, minus 20. Damn. For an entire hour. Okay, we're gonna have to counteract uh, that. First of all, let's get you off of this weapon. Let's give our girl her new costume. You're not a hero yet, but whatever. Look at that. Hero bonus. Foraging program. Perfect. Minus 20% food consumed overall. So, perfect. That worked out beautifully for me. I'm just wondering now, with gut packing. I don't know. 
I don't know. Whatever, man. Whatever. I'm just happy we finally found you. Uh, tactical uniform. If only it was a red talon one, but it's okay. I won't complain. You are a hybrid, so I think we'll have to put you in green. You're like the right-hand man of Sebastian. So a nice pack of ferals wanted to join. I like that. Nice shooting people. There's a third one. I hear him. Oh, there you are. Man, you guys just couldn't let me get even one of them. Would have been nice to have. I think I hear another one. Oh my goodness, man. Don't kill him, don't kill him, please don't kill him. You guys, man. Oh, geez, like. Man, can I just change my clothes in peace, please? Sebastian, no, 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 definitely not. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Like, what, like, what are you guys doing? Or... Okay, 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 yeah, just, you know, just keep slapping me, I like that. Oh boy. Alright, so now we got a juggy in the house, and I think I'm all out of my heavy weapons, as in everyone's- oh, never mind, there it is. Blast rifle, no. Alright, there's a slow cooker. Alright, where is he? Out here being a coward? I guess so. Hey, jeez, let's finally just take care of this. Good lord. Alright, perfect. Alright, we got our quiet people on the side. Homeboy in the middle. The right-hand woman. I'm feeling a juggernaut. I think we're gonna need to get some quick meds or something. Like, where is- oh, jeez. Man's just out there wrecking up the car. Thanks a lot, man. Right. Thank you guys for letting me handle that one myself. We're gonna have to start creating more of this ammo. Hey, we got a lot of people with the infection. How much time do we have? Four minutes? Alright, we can get to a play cart in four minutes. I think this guy is ready to go. So, here's some news for ya. Mysterious broadcast, huh? Jeez, oh, those things are so annoying. Let's just get a play cart already. Uh, Auto repair? Yeah, why not? What the hell? Let's just get rid of that one. Because Glitchtown has officially been liberated. That was a while ago, though. So now, we can take on the rest of the hearts. Still got the napalm grenades. I think it should only take two. Ugh, the air tastes like blood. Fucking plague zombies. I mean, I can always just play the waiting game. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, you know what? We actually should do it backwards, because the drone strike... Yeah, the drone strike should be able... I think that counts as an explosive. I really hope it's not just an incendiary. So yeah, we will do the napalm first. Look at that. I almost messed up my bounty again.
just one more just for good measure that's in okay then we'll play the waiting game how much more do we have Feral's on the way one minute yeah, I think we can manage that Yeah, you didn't hear that, right? Okay, good. Alright, come on. I'm pretty sure it's been a minute by now. Right? Three seconds. Two. One. Wow. There we go. That was close enough. Okay, I hope this wall isn't too much. I think it might be. Yeah, this, uh, this wall is making it actually kind of a weird spot. I should be able to do it. I don't think that overshadow the roof will be too much. Let's just uh, maybe right here. Maybe right here is good. Go ahead and send over a drone strike in my location. Perfect. Come on, come on, please be an explosive. Beautiful. Didn't bring a distraction. We can always loot that heart a bit later. All right, let's pick up our bounty. All right, what do you got for me? I forgot what this thing even was. Just a random bladed weapon. Don't really care much for it, but thanks. Didn't I have another one? Oh, wait, that's the one. 500. Yes. For a lizard hoodie. The chameleon variant. Okay. Anything else that's within my grasp? Seven armored zeds with explosives. Brewmasters, you guys are back again. One feral with heavy weapons? Nah, that's doable. Might as well just take it on. What the hell? Make ten cups of coffee. Ugh, give me a break. Wormling? Okay, craft 20 molotovs. Doable, I just don't really care. What's this other 301? Recruit three survivors. Not happening. 20 hordes for improvised weapon station. Yeah, I don't care about this thing. Two bloaters with explosives. Um, I guess we can take that one on. I don't really see anything else here that's really appetizing. For 50? I, oh, jeez, whatever. Whatever. Let's just, uh, sure. Yeah, that one. Five plague zombies with fire. Oh, the anniversary cake oven? Oh, jeez. That thing is so useless. It's a great trap for Zeds themselves, but no applications beyond that, quite frankly. Trumball 4x4. You know what? I think that might be a cooler one to go for. What is this one? Kill 10 freaks with vehicles? That's going to take a while. Not really, actually. Never mind. Uh, screamers count as freaks. Bomber jacket? Don't really care for it anyway. Uh, yeah, get me the 4x4, man. Yeah. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Bounty Man. Jeez. Oh, Alright. 